at the Electronic Visualization Laboratory at the University of Illinois at Chicago, Swami Narayan has created the VRML browser for the cave. The cave is a multi-person, high-resolution, 3D video and audio environment. In the cave, graphics are projected on four walls of a room-sized VR theater that immerses the viewer in a three-dimensional audio and visual environment. To see the virtual environment in stereoscopic 3D, users wear stereographic shutter glasses. The user navigates and interacts with the virtual environment using a wand, a six degree of freedom device with a joystick and three buttons. A head tracker provides information about the user's position. The virtual reality modeling language is fast becoming a standard for describing interactive 3D objects and worlds. The Vermal 1.0 specification is an extension of the SGI Open Inventor file format. The Vermal 2.0 specification allows for interaction, behavior, and is extensible. The VRML browser for the cave is written in Performer, a high-performance 3D visualization toolkit. It features a conventional browser with added advantages of viewing the world in a true 3D environment. The browser supports the use of anchor and inline nodes as defined in the VRML 1 specification. When the user points to an anchor, the geometry is highlighted in red. Clicking while pointing to an anchor loads in the world, referred to by the link. The browser maintains a cache of worlds visited so far and allows the user to go forward and back by clicking the left and right mouse buttons respectively. Inlined worlds and textures in the main scene are loaded in asynchronously. Here we see a VRML version of Battalion, a game written by Andy Johnson of EVL. However, to view HTML files, one still needs a web browser. The web browser is displayed simultaneously on the fourth wall and is controlled with the wand. The user moves the cursor using the wand. Clicking on a link pointing to an HTML file in the web browser does the expected. However, the web browser is configured to send all VRML files to the cave for viewing. Similarly, HTML files in the Vermal world are displayed on the web browser. The user can switch between various viewpoints in the world. After the Vermal 2.0 specification was announced at SIGGRAPH 96, the current browser was extended to support Vermal 2.0 worlds. The ideas and lessons learned while implementing the Vermal 1 browser were carried along to the Vermal 2 browser. Here we see one of the first scenes in Vermal 2. Boink. Pointing and clicking with the wand activates the objects. Here is a world that displays the use of a heads-up display. A HUD moves with the user's tracked head. The original premise of the project, to allow easy creation and viewing of content in the cave, appears to have been achieved. The extensible nature of the Vermal 2 spec, with the possibility for scripting with JavaScript and Java, allows content creators to have maximal power. Extensions of the browser to support multi-user environments are being considered.